Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an expression. We have x plus 1 over x equals square root of 3, and we're going to evaluate x to the 17th plus 1 over x to the 17th. I'll be presenting two methods. One of them will be incomplete. So for the first method, my goal will be to start with this. And by squaring both sides, my goal is to find x squared plus 1 over x squared. And then by squaring that, I'll be getting x to the 4th plus 1 over x to the 4th. And from that, I want to get to x to the 8th plus 1 over x to the 8th. And then eventually to x to the 16th plus 1 over x to the 16th. These are all numerical values. By squaring both sides, you can get that. Now I need to get to the 17th. So what I can do is I can just take this. Oops. I can take this sum of 16 powers and multiply it by x plus 1 over x. And that's going to give me x to the 17th plus 1 over x to the 17th. But we'll also get some additional terms such as these. And those are going to be x to the 15th plus 1 over x to the 15th. So here's the challenge. We do need that. To get there, I can just find the sum of fifth powers and then cube it. Or I can use uh, find the seventh power from the fourth and the third. So at least I'm going to need to find something like this. And then I can multiply this by x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. That will bring in an x plus 1 over x, which we already know. But this will also bring in x to the seventh, which I can mix with x to the eighth plus 1 over x to the eighth. Eventually get this. That's a lot of work, as you can imagine. That's why we have a second method. All right, let's take a look. For my second method, I want to use a very special formula. Square root of 3 is not an ordinary number. It's actually 2 times square root of 3 over 2. And the square root of 3 over 2 should be familiar to you. Let's go ahead and call that cosine theta for now. In this case, theta happens to be pi over 6, by the way. But we'll use that later. Okay? So, here's the thing. Cosine theta is root 3 over 2. And from here, pi, obviously pi over 6 is not the only one. But we can use that. Okay? So now we have this. This is quadratic, or I can multiply both sides by x. That'll be x squared plus 1 equals 2 cosine theta multiplied by x. And then put this all together. Alrighty. And if you use the quadratic formula, this is where things get very interesting. You're going to get this. Oops, the whole thing should be divided by 2. And then, this expression inside the radical is 4 times cosine squared minus 1. Cosine squared minus 1 is negative sine squared. So you'll have to square root a negative sine squared, and that will give you i. And when you divide by 2, you get something that should be familiar to you, right? Euler's formula. Great. There are two solutions. We can take either one. This is nice, isn't it? And what we're going to do now is replace the theta with what it is. Theta is power 6. Good. So let's take this. Now, I have a numerical value, but I don't want to use it. i rather use something else, such as maybe write this in polar form, right? I you can also expand it, right? For, from here, x to the 17th will be e to the power 17i times pi over 6. If you look at the, uh, if you take out the multiples of 2 pi, uh, you'll find 12 pi over 6. So it's going to be that. And then you can basically write this as cosine 
5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6. In other words, you 150 degrees. And from here, x to the 17th power is going to be cosine of 150, which is the opposite of cosine 30, which is this. And this will be a positive value, right? And of course, 1 over x to the 17th is supposed to be the reciprocal, but also the conjugate because of the modulus. And then when you add these, you should get negative root 3, right? There's an alternative approach, which you can call 2b, because this is the second method, right? Which is the following. After writing x as e to the power i pi over 6, you can actually cube both sides. And when you do, this will become e to the power i pi over 2. By the way, you could also raise both sides to the 6, but cubing is okay. And this will become i. So x cubed is i. In other words, x is one of the cube roots of i. And to find x to the 17th from here, you can take x to the 3rd, raise it to the 5th, multiply by x squared. This is i. i to the 5th is also i. So this becomes x squared i. Or i times e to the power i pi over 3 because remember x was i pi over e to the power i pi over 6 and this is i times 1 half plus root 3 over 2i do the math and you'll get the same thing and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video by the way thank you all for the beautiful comments i'm trying to get my voice back if you find it please send it my way and until next time bye bye